What's up, y'all? So, I can't wait any longer. I bought Joint Compound at Walmart for like four bucks for this whole thing. This will probably last me forever. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna use it in my art journal. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I bought it a couple days ago and I've just like been dying to use it. So I'm gonna use it right now. So the first thing that I'm going to do is tape my book. super messy and not very well done <laughs> but it's just because I'm so impatient because I can't wait to start using this and I've never used this before but I cannot wait to see how it turns out so I'm going to open it up Ooh. Okay, I'm going to just try to spread this around. See what happens. I'm so, so excited. absolutely no idea how this is going to dry. Um, I know I've got some on my finger and it feels like uh, powder. So this is its probably going to feel kind of sandy, powdery. I know I'm going to paint over it to kind of like seal it. But it just, I think it looks really cool. And I'm totally making a big mess, but I'm just so excited. So excited! And I don't know how long this is going to take to dry. Just have to see. I might even just leave this overnight. Okay, so my thought is that I should have had gesso or something probably yeah gesso under the plaster because the joint compound is really wet and it is making my paper underneath like wet so I think it might take like a long time to dry so I think it would have been better if it had something other than paper under it that's just gonna like absorb all the moisture but I don't know that's just my thought good morning it's the next day I left it to dry overnight because I knew it was probably gonna take a long time to dry 
Um, so it dried wider than it originally was. It was kind of beige. And it feels cool. It's like really, my page is now really thick. Um, and the texture is awesome. I just wish I hadn't put so much along the spine here because when you close it, it's already, it's really rounded here. So I think I'm actually going to try to take some of this off because, look, it can kind of just scrape off like that. Which, oh, yep. I don't think it is complete. Oh, no. Oh, man. I scraped off some of the paper. Um, so this can come off quite easily. So what I need to do is kind of seal it Ugh. Um, with some paint. I'm going to put Mod, not Mod Podge, Collage Podge over this and then put paint over it. Man, I ripped off some of the paper. Um, so this is definitely crumbly. You would have to put something over this to seal it. We'll see if this ever, like, actually just comes off my page. I don't think it will, but... Ugh. We'll have to... less flaky it's not powdery at all now and it even feels like more flexible which is really really good I've okay so I put the collage collage podge I put some gesso I put paint with a little bit of glue in it on here and then I put some glossy white and now it's really really pink <laughs> so I don't know what to do from here. I can't believe I got some paint on my book. Uh. Um, I love how it looks. I like I can see some of the piano music. going to put on this journal page and that's there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy that's so true I just don't know how I'm going to get it on my page because it's so textural that I don't think I could write it on there so I think I'm going to write it on a thicker piece of paper and then glue it on there. So I'm going to get started on that.
So I'm loving how this is looking. I love my quote here. I put it here because I didn't want to cover up the music in the background um, or on this side. I just I love how this is looking and I love how it's feeling. It doesn't feel crumbly and it's like bending a lot easier. So I love, love, love it. And I love the colors. Um, so I'm thinking about putting some stickers on it because I want to put, um, I don't want to cover it up, but stickers only cover up like a little area. It's going to be really simple or really, I don't know what I'm saying. It's not going to cover it up very much. Um, so I think I'm going to put some stickers on here and I have been like saving these stickers for a long time since like last Christmas and I really think I'm going to force myself to use my stickers because I hoard stickers and I never use them which isn't good because I have a bunch of pretty stickers but I feel like I can never use them because what if this isn't the right project to use them on or I don't know it's just I just never use my stickers and that's not good I need to use them so I think I'm going to use these two hot air balloons because they make me happy and this is um, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy, and these are beautiful, they make me happy. <laughs> so, I'm going to put these on here, and I don't know how they're going to stick because of all the texture, but I'm going to stick them down. These are such cool stickers. It's going to be... It's like, you know what? I just need to make myself use these stickers because I... Life is too short Ooh. to not use your stickers. <laughs> Just, just so cute. I love the pink. I'm glad that I toned it down though. I'm glad that it's like more off-white or like beige around the edges. I like what I did here with the nail polish. I love the stickers. They just made this page that much cuter. I love it. I love the texture. The joint compound is awesome. I just, I do suggest that if you use joint compound that, um, on your journal page that you do put like coats of paint or Mod Podge or something to seal it because it was like really flaky when I first put it down and it worried me but now I mean it's it's there to stay it has so many coats on it so many layers of paint it's not gonna come off um so love the quote love the page love the stickers thank you sister for these awesome stickers um yeah there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy 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 <laughs> yeah so that is it comment below and subscribe for more and have a nice day y'all <laughs>